Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I have an Alex over here in a Wellington behind me. Um, but first my new glasses. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Um, I did want to say that these were given to me by this company called Zimf, Z-I-N-F-F. Um, you go online, you get your prescription to them, you pick out your frames, and they send you your glasses. Um, and there will be some coupon codes down below if you want to try them out. Um, it was pretty quick and easy, to be honest with you, and I've never gotten online glasses before, but I'm pretty impressed with them. And I did receive two pair, this pair here, which we all determined that we like. And on my other pair in here, I don't know. No. Here they are. And then this pair, which I think are just fantastic. <laughs> because they're big and they're fun. And I love them both. I love them both. But we'll wear these for right this second. All right. So like I said, they were sent to me. But. The opinion is my own, and I'm enjoying them. Now, oh, hi, buddy. You want to say hi? This is my baby. You say hi. This is Mr. Wellington. He just, there you go, buddy. He just woke up from his little nap. They want treats. I'll get them some in a little bit. They're obsessed with these Sheba break-apart treats. They're kind of soft. Um... I have to get them out of the closet. I'm hiding them. All right, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. It's not a whole lot of stuff. I'm not, my stores don't have anything really new, but I did find a few things that I thought I would share. Uh, first and foremost, can you look at this tin? I love it. I really am being drawn to things like this with like these, I think what would be considered like a mandala? I'm not 100% sure, but I love it. And then the top. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't, I might put it on my, oh. I'm gonna put my tea in here next to my coffee maker. That'll hold a lot of tea bags. And I feel like I could leave this out all winter. So I grabbed that. I grabbed this cup. You're not gonna be able to see it. It's holographic. It says Merry and Bright. These are pretty good sized cups. They have the lid with the slider. Um, they are double walled. I don't know what it says how many ounces. It does not, but this is a pretty decent sized tumbler. And I love it. And they have all different ones. Like I said, you're not going to be able to see it, unfortunately, but it says Merry and Bright on the inside. Okay. Hi, buddy. Can you go over there and see your brother? Thank you. <clears throat> he said no. Sorry. I, is anybody else's allergies killing them? It has been raining for two days and I've had a headache for two days. And I got my Christmas earrings on. <laughs> okay, back to back to life. Speaking of, I found this fabric. Um, and we've talked about it before. I'm pretty sure these are fat quarters. They're okay. I mean, they're decent enough fabric. Um, this is the first time I've seen any type of a Christmas pattern. And I love it. I may make a book sleeve out of this. I don't know. We'll see. You would also make some cute masks. It's just holly. I'm thinking that's still Christmassy, right? Or is that spring? I don't know. It looks Christmassy to me. Um, so I thought it was nice. I don't buy a ton of fabric in there when I see it just because I have a lot of fabric. But I liked that this was a Christmas print. So I grabbed one of those. Um, boring, but I got a can of pumpkin. Apparently there's a shortage on pumpkin. Does anybody else know about this? Um, and this is just pumpkin. This is not pumpkin pie. It's straight pumpkin. And yeah, just pumpkin. So I grabbed a can and then I went to Aldi and got, they had a limit of two cans for 85 cents. So I grabbed a couple there as well. I would like to make some pumpkin, keto pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Excuse me, sir. Hi. He's all up in my face down here. Yeah. I, oh, I'm wearing my shirt that I made a couple years ago. Don't stop believing. It's a true statement. Okay. I digress. I grabbed two of the mainstays candlesticks. I actually have a DIY coming up with these and one of the fish bowls. 
they're just a, a candle holder but I grabbed two I always like to have one or two on hand hi sweetheart and then I grabbed this jar tell me this does not look fantastically retro it's square it has your lid a million things you could do with these personally I'm putting it in my bathroom to hold stuff I have some eye wipes that I use and they're gonna go in there but I love it it's got it's like grippy it would make a great little holder if you made like hot cocoa or spiced tea or anything like that. It would be fantastic. For that, I got, oh, excuse me, my feet are all, yeah. oh, I found these white sponges. I, I, they're sponges, but I've never seen them in white before. Now, these do not have the, um, I don't think these have the scrubby on them, which is fine. I don't, it's not necessary in my life. Yeah, they don't. They're just, how farmhouse is that? So I grabbed two. Who doesn't always need a sponge for cleaning your house? I do. You're right, buddy. Excuse me. Oh, I grabbed the, some of these in the wedding section. I will tell you, sorry. <laughs> If you pack your lunch, um, these are great to do like a bento box, put nuts in them, put little pieces of whatever, and then put them in a the container for portioning or separating items. Um, I actually got them for my trip that we're not going on. So there's that, but I'll use them. Portioning. I would say it's probably a quarter of a cup, maybe a half cup. I really wish they would put like measurements, but I think that's probably a quarter of a cup. I'll use it for nuts and um, things like that to, to portion out. Speaking of stuff I got for a trip I'm not taking, I also purchased these in the wedding section. You used to get 12, but now you get 10. So I have the condiment cups from the other side but these are larger. These hold a little more and they have the lids and they're great for packing lunches, for travel, portion control again, or you know, whatever. I might fill them up with some of my cranberry sauce and put them in my freezer and then I have a perfect portion to take out. They also have a resealable. So don't, don't sleep on the wedding section. I mean, that's, these are two items that I got from the wedding section that come in handy. Alex, what you playing with? I don't know what he has. Hey, what you got? I hope it's a toy. So I grabbed those in the wedding section. They have lots of fun stuff. I picked up desktop football. I really need to do a video of opening all of these up and let's playing them because I've now got quite the collection. But we have desktop football. It includes three footballs, one goal post, one launcher, and one plastic base. So I think it's like... If you were playing paper football when you were in school, I think it's like that. So I grabbed that game because, you know, we need fun in our lives. This is a no order if I haven't said that. I found in the auto section front seat floor mat. What? They're plastic. Actually, I bought three. I was thinking... I could craft on this, especially if something messy. But they have the little bumpies in the back. Now they're thin, but for winter time, I'm gonna throw these in my car and see if it'll help keep my carpet in the front clean because I don't have winter mats in this car. I did in my last one. Um, so yeah, it's not too terribly thin, little grippy. But you know, in the in Ohio, we get salt and stuff so I'm gonna put a set in my car in the front seat and then I may end up taking this upstairs and using it like when I glue gun and paint and do messy stuff it's an odd shape but it's a dollar and if I ruin you know when I get out like the e6000 if I get it on that I don't really care but I was shocked I've seen other people haul them but I had no idea and then also in the auto section I got this set of tweezers um, it's all different shapes, which is fabulous because, again, with crafting, 
I'm forever looking for tweezers for little things to pick up beads and when I'm using my Cricut and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, I just need to grab them. I've seen them before and you get four tweezers that are pretty long. So I think these would be perfect for crafting. And the last thing I got in the auto section I found, this is Aruba Blue Breeze Air Freshener. I don't know what it smells like. I mean, oh, here I do. Smells florally. Um, I'll put it in my car. I love air fresheners. And this is, um, it's a lay. I'm sure it doesn't show you. Okay, here you go. It's a lay. So it's, there you go, a string of flowers. And I thought it would be pretty and smell good. It's got a scratch and sniff on it, but I can't really smell it. So do I have the COVID? I can't smell it. I don't. So I got that for the car. Um, hello, flannel infinity scarf. How warm is this? Now, first and foremost, it's flannel, but it's also stretchy flannel. Like what? It's blue with a little gray stripe, and I feel like this will be so warm. Especially like in the mornings, my office gets cool. So I feel like it's warm. Yeah, it's warm. I like this a lot here. You can also craft with it, but sometimes you just need to use the things as what they are. So you put it on and then you, do, oh, yeah, that's lovely. It's really soft too. I don't know if they had any other prints. This is the one I saw and I just snatched it while I was walking by. So it's like a flannel with a blue flannel with some gray striping. So I like that. That's nice. And it's nice and toasty warm. So I grabbed one of those. Um, also for my trip that I'm not going on, I picked up in the wedding section again, silverware. This is forks, knives, spoons. You get, I think four of each. But I like them that these are more solid. They're a little more sturdy and they have gold glitter in them. So it might be for like celebratory, but you know, there's always times in your life that you're going to need to grab some plastic cutlery and I don't have any. Um, so I just grabbed a set, 12 pieces. So you get four of each. Yeah, and it's nice. It's not the cheap, cheap stuff. It's pretty heavy duty. And then to go with it, I grabbed these little dessert plates because this is really much the size of a plate that I would eat off of. And for Thanksgiving, it's just going to be me and Sarah. And I think my sister-in-law, Sarah's my niece. <laughs> I think my sister-in-law, her stepmother is coming over and we're going to watch a movie because all three of us are socially distant. So I figured I'd make desserts for everybody, for the three of us. And there's eight plates. So that's perfect. And then I could just throw this cutlery out and then I don't have to worry about cleaning up after. So I grab those and they're always good to have on hand, even in the middle of a pandemic, you gotta have food to eat off of, you know, or pack them in your lunches, which I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with lunch packing. I don't even go into the office anymore. Who knows? I grab some gift tags because it's Christmas. These are, oh, look at those. I like this one that had the more rustic um, or vintage looking tags. It's just a sticker book. You get 52, which will be plenty for me. I'm almost done wrapping. So I just grabbed some of these because I ran out. Oh, he's in his bed. That basket dead of his is a gift basket that we received at my work three, four years ago. And I put a blanket in it, and he loves it. So that's his. Okay, yeah, so I grabbed those. And then I also got these. Guys, look at how vintage the snowman and the Santa in the wreath, season's greetings. I love these. These are window cling. So there's no stick to them. They're not stickers. But what you could do is, and I think I will do, is put it on a sign and Mod Podge it down. Because I'm, I'm all about that snowman right there in the tree. I love it. And for a dollar, you've got a lot of options here. 
So I grabbed a pack of that. That's all I needed. Um, I picked up two of these brownie pans for a dollar. Let me tell you, these are pretty good. Um, it's, I don't know how long it is, 12 by 6 maybe. But when I make uh, my cheesecake, uh, pumpkin cheesecake for Thanksgiving, it'll take two of these pans. And then what I do is um, take them out and I cut them. And I like that these have the straight side and I put parchment and then I take it out and cut them and put them in the freezer because it's just me. And so these are good to have on hand for this size of baking. And also it makes a great one box of brownies, but I don't eat brownies. And then for the same reason, I grabbed a cookie sheet to make, I'm making some keto cookies and this is the perfect size. If I can get it flat in here and then I can cut them. This is a perfect size mold. I won't even bake them in here, but it'll, the, the batter will go down into there. So I just grab these. If they get scratched up and stuff, I don't really care. And then I can just throw them away. Okay, we're down to the last couple of things. And like I said, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but please look at this little stocking with the buffalo check. And this is like a fake fur. Oh, I love it. Um, I know these are, I think, ornaments. The kid took the tag off, but I think they're ornaments, but think gift cards, guys. Slip a gift card down in here and tie it on to like a can of candy or something. So that would be two or throw it on your tree for an ornament. Oh, so cute. And I love them and they're two, two for one dollar. And I, they had other patterns. I just like that one. And then the last thing I picked up, which I'm kind of impressed with. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I had forgotten to bring bags for Aldi and I was headed to Aldi next. So I picked up these two bags. And then this one, it says, life is my favorite adventure. Look at how long these handles are. It was perfect. It went up over my shoulder. I had plenty of room. I would say this is like a muslin or flour sack, very sturdy. I carry groceries in them without a problem. So I grabbed this one. And then they have this one that says farmer's market on it. And I grabbed two of them. I have been like recycling through my bags and getting rid of ones that are like dirty or, you know, I've had for a long time where they're tearing and breaking. Uh, because I do like to keep these in my car and these are perfect for the grocery store, especially just for a quick trip in. I mean, I know they had one more pattern, but I don't remember. I just poked myself. I don't remember what they said, but these are great. I think it's muslin fabric if I had to guess. So just, you know, not an expensive fabric at all. But I will tell you, there's some quality stitching going on here. They've surged the edges. It's seamed. Um, it's one piece, so these handles are not going to fall off because it's one piece of fabric. So you're not going to, like, tear the handle. Okay, well, maybe over here you are because there's a seam there. But <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, they hold, they have a flat bottom. Look at me going crazy about these bags. They have a flat bottom, so I was able to hold a fair amount of groceries. So that is my haul today it is you're gonna see this on Tuesday on Wednesday I have a 40 minute video coming up where I made a bunch of Dollar Tree gnomes and then it's Thanksgiving so I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving I know it's probably not the year we all hoped for but we're gonna do the best that we can all right everybody well I will talk with you later bye